pottery. Today we're making bowls and pot. <laughs> no, not like that, you crazy people. Bowls and pots. Eugene is not here today because he's actually preparing for a drag performance. So while he's doing that, we're gonna drag our hands on some clay. My name is Mel. I'm one of the owners here at Still Life Ceramics. Today we're gonna make something on the pottery wheel. We're gonna attempt a bowl. We opened in April of last year. We started our company in April last year. Stop. Twins. 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 Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday coming to up. you guys. Wow, thank yeah. you. Ceramics is kind of the umbrella. Pottery is making lots of like functional things. It's less of the like artistic stuff. I'm sure there's gonna be some pottery people watching that are like, she's totally wrong. And they don't get to talk. <laughs> exactly. I'm the expert. Here. <laughs> this video is really a challenge. A challenge to see if we can come up with jokes other than the ghost joke. You all know it, it's our favorite movie scene. We've made that joke a lot in videos, but never here in a pottery class. I do feel a lot like Demi Moore. She's my Patrick Swayze. Oh my love. I'm guessing we're gonna do it at least four times. My goal today is to try and sneak up on one of the other guys and have my own ghost moment. They won't see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, oh, it's I'm beautiful. Thank the you. Blue Are you guys ready to make something on the pottery wheel? Yeah! All right. So the first thing we have to do is choose what kind of clay you want to use. Oh. So this would be the white clay body. So you can see it's pretty like clear, white. Uh. And this is how it comes out with the speckled clay. Oh, wow. I love so it. The speckles come through the glaze a little. You can see it on the outside. I would like to lean a little more speckled today. All right. I'm going to go speckled, please. Speck. Here's your clay. Thanks. Here's your clay. Oh, wow. Can I play with this all I want? I love uh, uh, mushy, gushy stuff. I'm just excited to play with the clay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Yo, give this a squeeze. Okay, give me yours to squeeze. Try. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is turn our wheel on. So you're gonna press the pedal on with your toes and off with your heel. Ooh. So this oh, is, if you push it all the way forward, you'll see that That's fast. It's, it's fastest. This is very special for me because my wife, Ariel, loves pottery. Today, I'm hoping to make something that maybe she'll use on a monthly basis. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean my wheel before I put the clay down. And your wheel should be going counterclockwise. If it's going clockwise, you're doing it wrong. Since I moved in with Maggie, she's really opened my, my eyes to the world of ceramics. My goal today is to make a decorative piece that my girl friend will be proud of. Okay, SpongeBob, do your you thing. Oh, that's nice. I love letting things do the work for me. This is great. Becky and I, we're married now. We're trying to cute up our place. I want to make something nice for Becky. Something nice for us. Today we're gonna do basically the first step, which is throwing it. So putting it on the wheel and actually, yeah, we're actually not gonna throw anything. Wait, literally the only thing we know about this is that you throw clay and you're telling us we're not throwing clay? I don't personally throw it because I find if I throw it, I'll get it way off center and then it's a lot harder. So I just kind of put it down in the center. You're welcome to throw it. <laughs> Oh, a little off center. Pretty good. Get it nice and stuck down. I want to make sure that as I'm working with it, I'm going to be throwing lots of water on it. I don't want any to get underneath the clay because it'll make it slide off. And I wish we could eat our pots at the end. Have our pots and eat them too. I'm going to throw a bunch of water on it and I'm going to squeeze everything toward the center. Because it's spinning, I'm just applying pressure in two spots. Oh, oh it's growing! Oh, oh. Now it looks like a weird nipple. As someone who works in pottery, uh -huh. are you at this point sick of the ghost jokes? No. No. We encourage the ghost jokes. I haven't seen the movie, so. You haven't seen the movie? No, oh, I know. Oh, come on. I have heard that to be a great artist, you must have your lover shot down in the streets. That's the best part of ghost. Oh, right. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Got this. Oh, God. Oh, oh my gosh, look at you. Oh my you God. You look ridiculous. Oh, I'm having my ghost moment. Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. Nice. Okay, little boy, let's give you a bath. Sprinkle Dinkle. I love my lump. Yeah. I'm gonna name him Boris. 
counter pressure. So move them around a little more to the sides. Yeah. Whoa. Yes or no? That's great, perfect. Hey. You can pause yeah, there. Yeah, bro. That's a knob. So in terms of design, I feel like classic ceramics is like very clean and neat and precise. It seems like the more artisanal pottery is kind of about ridges and imperfections. Mm -hmm. And is that something that we should strive for? Sure. I like it as part of the design. And I think that moving back to buying handmade stuff, you know, they can see where it came from. So we're going to do the down one now. And then to go down, so I'm pushing it <laughs> toward. <laughs> Oh, I'm pushing oh it down God. toward my bucket. Return kind of to the shape that we started with, a little lower. This is so satisfying. It's like watching a plant grow in fast motion or right? something. It's yeah. like so amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Isn't that really nice? nice? Look at that beautiful, beautiful clay. Is it because at one point I made him go real fast? I think so. Oh, no. We might have gone a little tall. A little faster. There you go. There you go, little lumpy. Yeah, there you go. There you go, little mound. We're ready to move on to the next stage, which is creating the shape that we're going to use. We can make some like nice spot sounds with our clay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, it's a symphony. Here, Keith, you make some. All right, you make some. So now we have what is the beginning of our heart. So the first thing I want to do is find the center of the spinning mound and just rest my thumb on top to create a divot. My left. Yeah. Well, my left hand's so stupid. I mean, my left hand's stupid too. There's gotta be another joke. Need some more water. Got it. Yes. Didn't see it coming. I didn't. But I love how it feels now. <laughs> So now we're gonna actually plunge. Oh, oh the clay. here we go. So you're gonna use the tip of your left thumb and you're gonna press down. What are some of the most common mistakes that we could make as first timers? You really have to have kind of a gentle and steady hand. And the tendency is to overcorrect and squeeze the clay a little more. And that'll usually make it go haywire. Oh, this is so fun. This feels awesome. Oh yeah, I like this. Don't make it gross. Why is it gross? This is just a uh, hobby that I'm enjoying. There's literally nothing sexual about this. There's no feeling where a, a hole is spinning rapidly around your thumb. There's nothing. There's no, nothing like it? No. <laughs> Wow, wow, nice wow. hole. It's a great hole. So next we're gonna open the bowl out. Man, we should have called this video Try Guys Drive Bowling. Hey! <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna use our left thumb again. We're gonna apply pressure straight in a straight line out towards nine o'clock. And I use my right hand both to kind of stabilize my left. I'm just pressing out. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's a ball. It's bowling. So you want to be careful not to go too wide or it'll kind of collapse over the base. Thumb. Enter. Enter the pot. And... We're just so afraid to overdo Ooh. it. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Great, so then you'll pull your thumb out while it's still spinning. Beautiful! Oh, Look at look that! It was like watching my bowl go... It's pretty amazing. We're gonna stretch the walls a little taller. So this is the part where if something's gonna go like pretty haywire. It's now. It's gonna be this step. Oh God. So do you ever pull it too high and it flops over? Yeah, because we're working with the clay, we're kind of like stretching it out, adding water, kind of breaking down a little. If you stretch it too thin or too wide, it can kind of just break apart. I'm just gonna pinch from the base and really slowly oh, yeah. move my hand up oh, the wall. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn! Oh, That's a cylinder. So squeeze on top of the wall, yeah. Yes, Ned. Good job, Ned. Oh, yeah. Your wife is watching. Oh, your elbows down. Proud. Squeeze the ball, make it grow. Squeeze that ball. Oh, whoa, I like
like that yours is like, you're shapely. I'm obviously doing this on purpose and it looks awesome. It does look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> a little less pressure. A little, a little less. less pressure, yeah. Keep going all the way up to the top. Yeah. Oh, oh no! no! What have you done? You fucked it up! So what happened was you yeah. kind of hit that snag and then pitch, pinched all the way off. Well, it just slipped right out. I had yeah. so much, I was so wet. You're just too, having too much fun. What if this is just part of my design though? What if I just embrace it? Embrace it. Yeah, I'm not gonna let Slash. you fix it. Okay, that's this totally is, fine. This is me. Great. Accept me or don't. That's your prerogative. Wow. This is my bowl. So this tool is going to go inside the bowl at three o'clock, and as you apply pressure in one spot, oh, oh, oh. you oh, can see. My oh, my God. Wow. Ta-da. Oh, <laughs> it's a bowl! Yeah. Man, Eugene must be having such a shitty time not doing this. Are y'all ready? Probably, yeah. actually. Just be careful that we don't go too... Flat, you don't want to make a plate. That's like an expensive soup bowl. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a saucer. <laughs> this isn't quite what I intended, but I, I think I'm just gonna... This is exactly what I meant. What would you change about it if you wanted to? I wanted it to be kind of more like tall and then flop over. I think I can do that. You want me to give a quick try? Yeah. Okay. Feed the bowl. Oh, wow. This is where the magic happens. A little faster? A little faster. Grow! Yeah, Whoa. now it's wacky looking. Wow, Zach. Thank you. This you're is doing so hand. well. Wow, Zach, you're you. doing amazing. Wow. Zach, this is such a cool bowl you made. Whoa, Zach! Yeah, yeah Zach! Yeah. It's very quiet. I'm just being so focused. You're doing a great job. It definitely gained a wobble, you know. <laughs> it, start, it started so smooth and centered, and it it gained a nice wobble. Oh, oh, oh look at it, wobble bobble. Oh God. oh, God. What are we doing? What's happening? We're getting real nervous on this bowl. What do you think? Is it gonna collapse? It's not gonna collapse, but it might just be a wobble, wobble, wobble bowl. Bobble. Yeah. Fuck, huh? <laughs> I don't want to make a functional bowl. Maggie's all about these like decorative bowls that don't do anything but just look cute. But what do you want, Zach? That's what I want. Oh, okay. To make, I want to make her happy. happy. <laughs> oh, okay, they're great. But you can put anything in it. Olives, popcorn. Ooh. Olives? Olives? Olives is the first thing your mind goes <laughs> olives to. Olives would be delicious. I really in like a bowl? olives. There's gonna be a no olive sign <laughs> on my bowl. Oh, right. You can no put any. You don't like olives? You can put anything else. I think I'm good. Great. I'm also good. I nice think job, I'm okay Woo, with mine. I like it. Yeah. It's unique. No it one is will unique. able. No one else will be able to say that they made it. That's true. So they'll come off the wheel, kind of looking a little rough, like not like the bowl that you really envision. That looks better than what I plan on making today. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. And it gets fired in the in the kiln, and the first firing goes to about 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. It's kind of a three-day process. So now we're gonna let them dry for a couple of days, and then you're gonna come back and glaze after it's been fired. See you next time, in a few moments. It is one week later. We are back at the pottery. We're, wait, we're, <laughs> we're back at the pottery. We're back at the, the pottery. pottery. We're back at it. We are ready to see our bowls as they are after they have been in the kiln. And now it is time to glaze. And to help us glaze. Hi, I'm Anna. Thanks for coming to glaze with us. Yeah, we love to glaze. So I heard your bowls survived the kiln. Sometimes they crack oh. or they explode. Oh explode. no. Explode? Wow, thank you. Oh, it, it looks even better. I can see how it was close to exploding, but it didn't. <laughs> Whoa, look at my goofy bowl. I love it. Mm. That is an olive bowl through no, and through. I wouldn't, yeah, I'm yeah. not putting any olives in here. I've There's never no... seen a better olive dish than <laughs> that. No Anything. olives allowed. Let's see my perfect bowl. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. We got some things going on. Ooh, I like it. It's very unique. It kind of looks like a goofy hat. It has a lot of expression, this bowl. I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no food going in this, ever. This is decorative. I'm gonna Wait. come over to your house and just fill it with olives. So there's a couple of ways to glaze, but I think one of the important things to know about glazing is that glaze isn't paint. Glaze is actually glass. Oh. And this is what makes your bowl food safe. So this is a little sample of a test glaze. If you feel it, you can kind of hear the glass surface. Ooh, wait, ASMR darling taught us how to do this. You ready? 
Glaze is a chemical process that happens, and we mix silica, alumina, clay, and different colorants, metals, and earths. They get heated to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's what makes it melt into glass. This is, looks pretty solid, but then as you shake it. Oh, it's flattening out. Oh my gosh, it's so runny. It turns into liquid. Whoa. And that's a little bit about how mixing glazes works. Cool. The color you see here, this color right what? here. No, it isn't. This looks green. Yeah. but it turns out black. Shut up. <laughs> what? So we have a bunch of different colors for you guys to choose from, and there's different techniques to glaze, and we'll go over three options for you today. One is paint your glaze on. You can brush in different ways. It's part of your own personal creative expression. This is a great way to brush on your glaze. Grab your brush, you get as much glaze on it as you can and then you just spin and then keep painting it on. Mm. You can use one of these green brushes and then grab what is wax. We call it wax resist because what it does is it resists the glaze. So wherever you paint green, you dip it in, that area won't get glazed because the wax resisting the glaze. So with mine, I'm waxing the rim so that it will remain that beautiful natural color. And I'm waxing my bottom. Well, I'm waxing my bottom and taping part of my rim so that I get two tones. My bottom has been fully waxed. The other technique is dipping the bowl into the bucket of glaze. What can happen sometimes is people press really hard and then they break their bowl. Oh, so you no. have to be careful Fuck. when dipping. Ariel really likes these kind of light green colors. I just want a glaze that's really beautiful and simple. With that shape, the dipping method is gonna be great. It's a contemporary, simple shape. The seafoam green color will stand out on your shelf. Wow, you went all the way. That's great. Did I do it? You did it. Does it look nice? Yeah, he went all the way. So this area, what you're gonna do, uh -huh. is you're gonna dip your finger in again, and then just touch up, and then we'll smooth it out with your fingers again. Wow. That's really cool. You just dipped it in, and then it's just super smooth. You did it. So the third option is pouring. This is a really good technique for a really modern look where you just have the inside of the bowl glaze. You just pour it in, roll it around a bit. Bring it around down. Down. And then Whoa. you dip it out. Yeah. All the decorations that Maggie has, she loves like, I think the antique white and like gray. I like these two colors together. And I think you have such a prominent rim on your bowl that accentuating that rim might be a really good accent to that piece. So I would fill maybe this much glaze, yeah. And pour it right in the middle. What, to here? Yep, that's Okay, good. now I'm going Swirl. to and don't worry if it dips out, we can wipe that off. Okay, cool. Oh, this is yep. definitely more than a second. It definitely is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Get out of there. Oh, it's all over the place. It's not a problem. You it just feels like a off. problem. We'll get you a sponge and we'll sponge that off. Should I just add more? Should I no. just keep adding more? Don't add more. This is what you're going to do to wipe off the rest. So you're good now. You can turn it over. Get off. You were so perfect once upon a time. I love this pot so much. I, I, I really care a lot about it. I've never put so much care and tender love into a thing that I've made. Well, let's say you wanted to do the inside and then the outside a different color. You could do that. Oh, wow. You're just hand dipping it? I'm hand dipping Whoa. it. She's crazy. So for Valentine's Day, I bought some bowls from here for my wife and I want to try to match the bowls that I bought. So that's the glaze mm -hmm. you had on the bowls yeah. overlaid with a white glaze. Right. You're gonna do a double dip. I'm doing a double dip. Woo! Woo! So I've taped off where I want it to be white. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in this. I'm really learning that the shape of the inside of my bowl is not even. <laughs> but you're doing a really good job. Thanks. I'm just gonna pour it, do the same thing on the outside. Do the same. You're done with glaze one. <sighs> oh my. <laughs> Oh, God. You guys, that's perfect. That was so, oh, but I didn't get it all. Oh, okay. I didn't get it on the inside! We can do it. Oh, God, what an embarrassment. Or you can leave that exposed edge right there. You think that'll be hot? I think so. Okay. I actually yeah. think that's a really beautiful design. I did it. Wow, <laughs> that was, whew, that was scary. Because if you fuck it up, that's it. So they're going to fire these away, and then we're going to pick them up and 
see how we did. But in video time, it's gonna be right now. Here we are. It's been baked and glazed and baked again, like a superior donut, a baked donut. I guess donuts are fried. Uh, it could be anything. It could be broken. It could have exploded. And this is just a plastic bowl that says, sorry, you tried. I hope it's cool. I hope I like it. But also I hope I, I made something that Maggie will like. In three, three, two, two, two one. 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 Oh. oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh my God, look at the bowl. Oh. <laughs> These look like my bowls that I bought. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow. Fuck yeah! Oh shit! Whoa! That's not what I expected at all! Look at that part. Huh? So I'll just always eat out of the bowl like this. You're buying art when you're buying stuff like this. You're not just buying uh, a dish. Look, it's shiny! It tastes good. I love this, but more importantly, I think Maggie is gonna love this. This is getting prime placement in my house. You made this? I thought you were gonna make like a lumpy old thing. This is really nice. It looks professional. Professional. I like it. Oh. Hey, that looks good! It looks okay, right? That looks kinda like the ball! Hey! It looks good! It looks pretty good. It's look a little it. different. It's like the same. No, yeah. it's not. Oh, look at it. Good job. Oh. My God, I did it! I'm on the wall. It's basically good for nothing, except for looking at it. Then you put olives in it. I'm not putting olives in this fucking bowl.